Helium cannot be manufactured. It's created by nuclear fusion in the sun. There are large deposits on Jupiter, but luckily for Guy, you can also get it from Oxfordshire. How long do you keep your trucks? Give them a fair age, 62, right? Yeah, yeah. Got some new ones in recently. Have you? Plant manager Louis Florent Dasp is in charge of processing helium that comes from radioactive rocks decaying in places like America and Algeria. What's this worth then? The helium inside is hundreds of thousands of pounds. The colourless, odourless gas is transported as a liquid so it takes up less space in a 750,000 pound refrigerated trailer. Absolute zero is minus 273 degrees. That's right, yeah. Space is minus 270. This is minus 269. The freezer at home will be minus 18, minus 20 degrees. So this is bloody cold. That is bloody cold. Unloading the helium involves connecting a pipe that leads directly into the plant. Keep going. Yeah? Yeah, that's it. You're feeding gas to the plant. Oh, wait. Guy needs enough gas for his balloon to fill 2,500 bathtubs. But airships aren't the only commercial use of helium. NASA use it to clean fuel tanks out because it's um, unreactive gas, not flammable at all. Deep sea divers breathe helium, a mixture of, because it makes breathing easier, the deeper you go. The biggest use of helium is for hospital MRI scanners. Grimsby Hospital's got an MRI scanner. I've needed one a few times. MRIs use superconducting magnets to scan the body and require huge amounts of power to create sharp images. When you're using a massive amount of energy, you create a massive amount of heat, and that's what the helium is used for, is to cool the coils that energise the magnet. What we're going to do is divert the gas straight into the racks that we're going to be filling your packs in. Yeah. The helium in the trailer outside can now flow into this rack of cylinders once each of the 18 safety valves has been connected. The price of helium has risen 500% in the last decade because of a global shortage. The gas literally keeps floating away. The word was that we were going to run out of helium. We only had enough, they were saying, to last 25 years. So there was looking at putting a ban on party balloons. Hey, that is serious. Well, since we've been making this program, they have found another source of helium in Tanzania, and that is enough to keep a, a million MRI scanners going, a million. So we're all right for a day or two, aren't we? We're all right for a day or two. That's it. That's it. Excellent. Away. Spot on. It will take 45 minutes to fill the cylinders, which gives Guy time to consider an important scientific fact. Why is helium lighter than air? Hell, she's quick. She's quick, isn't she? We've got two balloons. One litre of helium in the right, one litre of air in the left. One litre of air weighs one gram. One litre of helium weighs 0.2 of a gram. And that's all to do with the mass of the atoms. You ready? Crackers. Air is mostly made up of two elements. It's 21% oxygen and 78% nitrogen. An oxygen atom has eight protons and eight neutrons, giving it an atomic mass of 16. A nitrogen atom has seven of each, giving it an atomic mass of 14. Helium, though, has just two protons and two neutrons, giving it an atomic mass of just four. Air molecules, therefore, weigh around eight times more than helium and will always sink downwards, pushing an airship up. 190,000 litres of helium are now ready to fill the balloon that will take Guy across the channel. With a bit of luck, with a bit of luck, be raped. Right.